A servant of God, I am Robert Simon. Beloved in Christ, loving greetings. This day, again, we shall go to the book of Jude to study how the apostle handles the word faith. Jude chapter 1, verses 20 and 21. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. In verse 20, we read, Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. What does he mean? Here the Apostle Jude exhorts the disciples, the church, or the Christians, who are called to earnestly contend for the faith once delivered to the saints to persevering constancy and consistency in truth and holiness of the doctrines and teachings of the apostles and prophets. Thus says Paul in Ephesians 2.20 and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. It means their teachings and doctrines. The teachings and doctrines of the apostles are the foundation or the basis of true Christianity. The way to hold fast our profession is to hold on in it, says the great Bible commentator Matthew Henry. Having laid our foundation well in a sound faith and a sincere upright heart, we must build ourselves upon the foundation. It means make further progress continually on that work started by Jesus Christ through his chosen apostles, that is building on the foundation. We have to build up ourselves on the revealed truth as moral and responsible agents and sincerely should endeavor to continue the work of the apostles. In the words of commentator Albert Baines, they should seek to establish themselves most firmly in the belief of the doctrines and in the practice of the duties of the system of religion. One is, our uh, one system is building up himself or itself not on this foundation, is a false minister or a false system or a counterfeit Christianity. So, we shall build up ourselves on our most holy faith, that is the apostolic doctrines, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep ourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Amen. Questions, comments, remarks, views, feedbacks, reflections are welcome before we, God willing, could move on to another word. Till then, God bless you, God be with you. I am yours, Robert Simon.